Welcome back to Great Day Live. Uh, our hour here, we are focused, focusing on Veterans Day events that are happening all across Louisville and Kentucky, and a big focus here on USA Cares and the work that they do. We are joined once again by USA Cares President and CEO, Trace Chesser. We're gonna talk now a little bit, Trace, about the need for the services yep. that, you, that, that are provided by the organization. You've really kind of created a number of them. If you're listening yep. to the needs that are coming in, uh, tell us about those. So primarily, the, the biggest thing we do is we have a case management center, and we'll get about 100 to 120 applications per week wow. from all over the country. Oh my goodness. And they're saying things like, hey, because of my disabilities, I'm having a problem working, now my landlord's about to evict me. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty common. We hear that quite often. Um, over 70% of our veterans that we work with have children. So we find out all these things through this application process, and so it starts to branch out into other needs. But the primary thing that we're doing is we're stopping evictions, stopping foreclosures, keeping families together. Yeah. You know, maybe turn on utilities or something like that uh, in addition. But it takes about $4,000 per family because mm. you don't get an eviction letter if you're one month behind. You're several months behind. And so that's, that's the, probably the biggest thing that we do. And it's the most important to me because if you don't keep those families together and a veteran is off on their own because yeah. they had to send the kids to go live with someone else, that is the point when suicide is the highest. Right, and trying to avoid that and get in to keep that family yeah. together. Uh, from the time that you receive that application, how long would you say you work with a veteran? Like you said, the eviction notice yeah. is because one thing has been piling up for a while. So on average, from the time you get that application, yeah. you could be with that family for how long? Well, how long do you see everything through? I think it's one of the reasons that so many other nonprofits tell veterans to call us is we can turn it around in, on average, 48 hours. Mm -hmm. If a veteran can give us everything we need because we don't hand the money to the veteran, right. It, we got to work with the landlord. We have to work with a mortgage company or a utility company. Um, and we can turn that around really quick. While we're doing that, we're having the veteran go through financial literacy courses, yeah. a career transition courses to put them into a better place. And so we do follow up surveys and, and just check on them. So it could be a short term fix to get in there or it could be a long term, especially when you're talking yeah. about training and financial literacy. Yeah. It's not just here, let's pay for this, goodbye. No. We care about you all staying together and what can we do uh, to work together. What do you hear from veterans uh, that have kind of gone through a process with you that makes you just keep going? I've heard it so many times that if USA Cares did not do what they did, I wouldn't be here. Wow. And they, and I think for me, the chilling thing for me is, is I know they mean it. I've had friends commit suicide. Um, we've had a veteran that was pretty close to us. She used to come to the office quite a bit, um, but just was going through so many challenging things that couldn't deal with what all was going on and he took his life. Mm. And so, you know, the staff has been impacted directly like close friends. And so we know it's important. And, and we know that's why a lot of other nonprofits send veterans to us to help. Mm -hmm. Because if we can keep them together as a family, then they're in a much better place. Greater chance to succeed moving yeah. forward, um, most definitely. And to hear those encouraging words yeah. of how you help people probably keeps you all going. Um, keeps you going so much. That's why we do it. Just keeps going. Uh, do you have other things that you're working on in the near future that, that you want people to know about that you all need help with? Well, we have a um, new grant. USA Cares, for the first time ever, got a federal grant. Mm -hmm. And they want us to help with homeless veterans and get them back into the workforce. So that's something that we're ramping up. Yeah. And we're talking to a lot of employers that want to be involved. Uh, but I would say if someone knew a veteran that's homeless, and homeless could be, hey, they're sleeping in their brother's basement. Right. You know, um, they don't have a place. Uh, that's something that we're just starting up. So it, it's very exciting. Yeah. Uh, career transition's been ongoing for us, and, and the local companies love us for that. Mm -hmm. We're providing them the workforce. Right. 
and being able to transfer those, exactly. those skills, these wonderful skills yes. they've learned during their time now. Well, Trace, thank you so much for spending time with us and letting us understand more about the work that you're doing, because I think it opens our eyes to even the little things yeah. that the rest of us can do, right? Yeah. Just to, to help at an event, to give the, the, the benefit of time yeah. with the event to help a veteran, because we don't know how much that will change their life. I think the biggest thing that I want to say is people, your viewers do not realize most of them, USA Cares is here, and it is impacting military families, veterans, all over the country, mm -hmm. and it's all happening right here. Right here in this area. Trace, thank you so much. Again, uh, for more information, uh, ways to help to get involved, just go to usacares.org.